friends. It's Linda, Bella, aka Bella, at the Flourishing Table. Sorry about a little delay. I'm still having a lot of trouble figuring out my camera. I'm going to actually take a second and shut off these lights and back me. Hold on. Oh, that's better. Well, I really need a cameraman, so one day, um, maybe when this coronavirus is over, I can have a helper so I can do this right. So welcome again. I don't know what day we're in of this virus, but I feel like we all need a helping hand right now. And if you're out there and you're near, please let me know. It is my joy to serve you in any way, whether it's a word of encouragement and hope, or it's a meal. Um, today's meal was a specialty of my mother-in-law, Pat, and uh, boy, my time with her was so short. She, um, she was only here till she was 49 years old, but in those short years that I had her in my life, she, she really showed me what strength was. Uh, what a woman, a Proverbs 31 woman who, who faced fear and who, um, it really kept her house in order. She had three sons. That's not an easy job for any woman. And uh, never mind a husband. So I just love that my memories of her are as long as she's been gone from us, my memories are still as vibrant as ever. And I miss her dearly. And I look for that day to be reunited with her again. But every time I make this meal, homemade hamburger helper, I think of her. And I make it often, especially for, like if someone had a baby at church or a neighbor or a friend that's maybe dealing with some health issues. Um, my mom, my mother-in-law was a working mom, so this was just something she could prepare in the morning real quick and pop in the oven when she got home. And you can even make it the night before. So it's very... Um, versatile and very quick and easy. You're not even going to believe how fast this is. So I'm going to run through my ingredients. That's chuck, chopped meat, ground beef, shredded mozzarella, of course some EVOO to call, you know, coat our pan. We're going to be adding, our sauce is actually going to be a tomato basil. Um, a nice creamy bisque works really well. My mother-in-law actually used to use, back in the day, Campbell's tomato soup, which was really fine. I mean, for many years, I enjoyed it using that ingredient. But my um, Alyssa came up with kicking it up a notch, and she started to use the tomato basil. And that, again, can also, you know, it's something I buy in the store. Another substitute, can be like a homemade sauce. Now you're thinking, Bella, you have jarred sauce in your in your pantry. Well, I actually do because of the hurricane and and um, viruses and any kind of you know disaster that may come uh, before us. I always keep a good jarred sauce in the re in the pantry because I don't necessarily use it. You know, as it is, I'll add some fresh herbs, basil, garlic, parsley. I'll doctor it up. But you know, this, they're making so many very good um, sauces. And I'm, I'm calling it homemade, <laughs> Rayo's homemade. So I'm laughing. But it really is good to have at least one jar in the pantry at all times, just in case. So I had this in case I wasn't able to go out and get the tomato bisque. Uh, that I normally use. I'm going to be using my favorite Pecorino Romano grated and some garlic powder. We're not going to use fresh garlic for this because we don't want any chunks of garlic found in our, I'm looking for my wooden spoon. Um, we don't want any chunks of garlic found in this recipe. So I'm putting in the the ground beef and um, you might be wondering what I'm using here this is a good old-fashioned um, fry electric frying pan I love this thing I actually got one from my wedding shower that lasted me up until just recently 
um, a sweet friend of mine in North Carolina <laughs> actually bought me a very fancy one because I use it so often to do cooking demonstrations. And I was working on the one that I had for 37 years. And uh, she's like, I got you a present that I know you're going to really appreciate it. And it was a beautiful electric fryer. So thank you, Lisa. <laughs> you know who you are. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to brown this chopped meat, this ground beef. Now I am, the other thing I love about this recipe is that I can always prepare it in bulk. So I'll save some for my husband and I, and, and then I'm going to give the other half away. And I love any time I can do that. And I just think it's a practical way to be a blessing and, and maybe a helper for someone who's a little overwhelmed with their responsibilities at the time. So while this browns, I'm gonna actually add, I'm gonna season it with some of this garlic powder. Now I don't use garlic salt, I use garlic powder. And I'm just going to season it evenly sprinkling the garlic powder. I'm also going to use some coarse salt. And I'm just gonna go around this a couple of times, seasoning it. Now there's gonna be salt in the tomato soup also. And then the cheese is also has a lot of salt. So again, don't go too crazy on the salt. I'm gonna show this to you. See how that's browning? I want it to get nice and brown, so I'm going to just let it rest for a minute and saute while I read you this verse. This is one of my favorite. It's from Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 4. You know, Ecclesiastes uh, was written by Solomon and along with the book of Proverbs, which is wisdom. I love Ecclesiastes because it talks about the times. You know, there's a time and a purpose for everything under heaven. There is a purpose for this coronavirus, this coronavirus. God knows that in his sovereign will, because of his love for us, he desires to use us for the good. It will not destroy us. But I know that his desire is always to draw us close. So I love this verse from Ecclesiastes that says, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either one falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls alone and has no one to help them up. If they lie down together, two will keep warm. But how can one keep warm by themselves? Though one is overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. You know, in any relationship, whether it's in a marriage, a husband and wife, a friendship, a child, when Christ is in the center of that relationship, there is a bond that, that holds us together. It's like a holy glue. And I love that in these verses. We find God's wisdom that we're not meant to do this journey alone. So during hard times, when hard times come upon us, it's wise to ask for help. You know, the enemy loves to isolate us. We're in a time of social distancing. This is so contrary to the human condition. We just do so much better together. But you know, with the Lord's help, he'll see us through. And you know, I don't, I'm not breaking any rules, but dropping off a meal to a friend who is going through a difficult time, it blesses me as much as it blesses her. Because I know that I am representing the Father's heart to care for those that are in need. Another verse about helping others. Since we're doing Hamburger Helper, I just love this. The one who blesses others is abundantly blessed. Those who help others are help themselves. Doesn't that make sense? God never asks us to give something that he won't bless us in return with. 
Another verse is, God's strong name is our help. The same God who made heaven and earth. Isn't it amazing that God, the creator of the universe, knows us by name. And he invites us to call upon his holy name to give us strength and encouragement and hope in times of trouble. Um, today I was um, asked to, um, I was invited by our church to write a, a devotion on hope. And it was incredible because I had been working on that very thing. So I spent so much time in scripture today on hope. And the thing, I think the best way we can help one another is to bring hope because the enemy who, who wants to oppress us and keep us down wants us to become hopeless. People that struggle with depression um, are, become you know, captive in cycles of negative thoughts, but God is a God of hope. And when we bring a word of hope to another person, we are helping them to first of all experience the love of God, but also the power of God and there is nothing more incredible than that in our time of need. So the next thing I'm going to do, and again, I don't know what brand this is, Organic Imagine. I just picked this up in the store. Um, I like to use organic products when I can. My daughter, Alyssa, is always reminding me to do that. So I'm going to just pour this whole thing in here. Now, I have two pounds of ground chuck. And I want to create a nice sauce in here. To this two pounds of ground chuck, I am going to add two pounds of wide egg noodles. Now, you can use any type of pasta you would like. My mother-in-law always used these noodles. And personally, I love them. I think they're a perfect combination. I'm gonna also add some chopped fresh Italian parsley. Always Italian parsley, not that curly stuff that doesn't have any flavor. Okay, staying true to this recipe, I'm going to add, now did you see how fast that is? We're almost done, ladies. Okay, now I'm gonna add the noodles, a little at a time. Now, I'm not sure if they're gonna all fit in here, so I'm gonna start off with half of the amount of pasta I prepared. Um, so I'm gonna do about a pound and a half. Woo! I'm gonna take some of that out. Because I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be dry. I want to have an equal proportion of the sauce, the beef, and the pasta. Okay? Now I'm gonna add this sauce to this. And I'm gonna shut the heat off now because we don't have to cook it for any longer. We're actually going to finish it off in the oven. Okay, so as you give me a little moment to stir this and combine it evenly. Now, if you're really in a pinch and you just wanna get right to this meal, your kids are, mom, I'm hungry, I can't wait another minute. That happens with my Lila and Caleb very often because they're out in the backyard playing, climbing trees and playing with, uh, God only knows what. They are very um, nature-loving nature kids and they're always finding some kind of um, exciting animal prints or praying mantis in their backyard or maybe it's a mother bird that just laid some eggs. So they're always on an adventure in their backyard and I love to hear their stories. But because of that, they really work up an appetite. Now, if you want, you can add the, the remaining two ingredients to this and serve it just the way it is. That's what I love about this dish. I'm gonna bring it closer to you so you can really appreciate. Now, do you see how easy that was? So I'm going to add some of my grated Pecorino Romano for that next layer of flavor, okay? I'm just gonna do like two handfuls of that. Sprinkle it evenly, toss it again, okay? 
I can't wait to bring this to my friend Jen because um, her and her daughter Lauren have been through so much in the last two weeks. But God has been so faithful because, you know, he, he got them through, I hope, the hardest part. And now they'll be on the side of recovery. I want to give you another, another verse that is so comforting. Proverbs 15.4. Kind words help and cutting words wound. Wow, isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? So many times, you know, we, I am so guilty of this. We speak before we think. And God is saying, I be slow to speak, quick to listen, because a, a gentle word can turn away confusion. Uh, it can turn away conflict. It can turn away anger. So again, a way to help a friend, a loved one, a husband, a child is to give them a helpful word, a word that's going to build them up and edify them, strengthen them, because God is all about building us up. The enemy is all about tearing us down. So it's getting time to say goodbye. One last ingredient I'm going to use is some shredded, already shredded mozzarella. Yes, that's how you say it, mozzarella. And we're going to sprinkle that and just pretend that this is already in the baking dish. I would spray that baking dish with, you know, some kind of olive oil or some type of spray. And then there you have it. My mother-in-law Pat's homemade hamburger helper. I pray that you enjoy it as much as I know I'm going to enjoy it. And I think that it will become a family favorite, but I also think it's going to become something when you want to be a help to someone in need, I think it's a quick and easy way to show you care. I love you all. God bless you. Be well. Stay healthy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.